Hi, my name is Tanya Wright. I am an Associate Professor of Language and Literacy in the College of Education at Michigan State University. And I'm Lisa Domke, a PhD candidate in the College of Education at Michigan State University. We are the authors of the article, The Role of Language and Literacy in K-5 Science and Social Studies Standards. The purpose of this article is to understand the role of language and literacy in science and social studies standards for the elementary grades. Standards documents specify expectations for student learning that, in turn, influence the curriculum and classroom instruction that students are likely to receive. Typically, English language arts and other content areas compete for time and instructional attention in the elementary curriculum. But we were interested in whether new content area standards aligned with theories and empirical evidence that language and literacy are integral for disciplinary learning and engagement beginning in the elementary grades. This is because spoken and written language are critical for learning and communicating ideas, but also because children will need to be apprenticed into disciplinary literacies or the ways of communicating in oral and written language that may be particular to specific disciplines. So we engaged in a content analysis to understand the messages about language and, and literacy learning for elementary students that are instantiated in new science and social studies standards documents. We hoped that our analyses would support elementary teachers and curriculum developers to read beyond surface expectations and consider the stances towards language and literacy that these standards advocate and promote. We analyze both the Next Generation Science Standards and the C3 Framework for Social Studies Framework documents, describing the theory and research that the standards are based upon, as well as the statements that specify expectations for student learning. We found that the standards for science and social studies suggest many opportunities for supporting elementary students' language and literacy development, and that language and literacy are integral components of doing disciplinary work. Standards documents view disciplinary learning as reinforcing, but also extending, the ELA standards in the Common Core, with an emphasis on discipline-specific language and literacy practices. For example, student expectations in science and social studies focus on communicating ideas through oral and written language, reading, writing, and using discipline-specific texts, as well as explaining, arguing, discussing, asking, and describing. However, each discipline enacts these differently, and these differences were clear in framework documents, but not always in learning expectations for students. For example, the frameworks explain what it means to make an argument or ask a question in science compared to in the social studies. And this has implications for teachers, curriculum developers, and teacher educators. While these standards clearly suggest opportunities to support students' language and literacy development during science and social studies, enacting the vision of these standards will likely require substantial instructional change in many elementary classrooms. So teachers will likely need professional development to capitalize on these opportunities for supporting disciplinary literacy in the elementary years.